to all the mothers out there in the world, man, we just want to wish you guys a happy Mother's Day. And matter of fact, as I reflect on Mother's Day, I'm just thinking about one of the attributes that I got from my mom, man. And I think if anybody knows my mom, if you know Miss Sane, if you from from around the way, you know that she um is a sweet and nurturing person. And I think I think I think that side of me, the the compassionate side is the one trait that I would say I got from my mom when I was sitting back and reflecting on not only her, but just how other people see her, view her and speak about her. And so as I was just going through like, dang, you know what I'm saying? You just think about what attributes that you pick up from your mom. And um, I was thinking about you, big homie. And I was like, man, Linda Lou, you know what I'm saying? She, she, that's just my baby. She's just with something else, man. Just cool as a bird. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, what you would say, bro, that, that one trait from her that you picked up that you see inside of you each and every day. Uh, I would say, man, consistency being probably number one, hard work and consistency. Oh, yeah. um, Definitely. Cause if, you know what I'm saying? Every single day, my mom was going to get up and go to work, like hell or high water. No, it was no snow days. It was none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of instilled that into my life, bro. I get up every day, I go to work, and I'm consistent about it. I get there, I do my job. I am supposed to do it, you know what I mean? So, And I remember that, bro. I remember me and CB, well, you and CB always had a job. You know what I'm saying? B-dubs. Yeah. But E, bro, you have been working. You have been getting it for a long time. Mm -hmm. But not only that you have been working, you have been consistent, like you said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just remember saying, like, man, my dog. Remember, you paid for my first tattoo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I came home from mm -hmm. college broke as a joke. Mm -hmm. Big homie, I need 125. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got gotcha. you. Yeah. He got me. Because gotcha. he gotcha. had it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just was working, remember. Bro, I had two jobs. I was yeah. going to pay every single You had two sure. jobs back then. Mm -hmm. And I just remember, like, like, only money we had was, like, our refund check. All right. Mm -hmm. We try to make that bitch stretch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stretching out. Right. So we trying to see, be like, bro, I'm coming home this weekend. I'm like, me too, bro. And I'm looking like, mm -hmm. man, I got to hit big homie up, man. I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you have been consistent with that, bro. When you think about Rakina, what would you say uh, your trait you got from her, bro? Man, before I touch on that, I'm talk, because y'all mothers are like my moms. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Definitely, Definitely. give out uh, Miss Sane a shout out, mm -hmm. man. Just remember back then, sweet everybody knew who she was she definitely was a, she was mm -hmm. a mom of moms all in the neighborhood you know mm -hmm. what i mean everybody loved miss saying and she was my she was my second mom mm -hmm. you know what i mean sweet and that's the biggest thing for me sweet and a big heart mm -hmm. right a huge heart man it was just a lot of love in there with her so i definitely uh, that's what's up mm -hmm. appreciation to miss same and that and um miss malloy for me it's hard working. Definitely seen that. You exactly. Know what I mean? Hard working. Always worked her tail off. And she was firm and very directive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Too. She was hard working. Right. Hey, <laughs> e, CB. Right. Like, Close hey, my door. Right. Come on, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you, you know, when you get older, you appreciate those things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we was raised, been around strong black women. We were. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, another one, you know, Miss Miss Russell, Paulette Russell. Y'all remember Bilal. He mm -hmm. he. Mm -hmm. uh, got killed some years ago but you know i was around spending a lot of time on the wrestle house and paulette same thing hard working very sweet mm -hmm. and she was firm and directive you know what i mean and uh it's a lot of love down there they out in phoenix right now um <clears throat> my mother said she the rock of our family bro mm -hmm. like hard work like work her tail Definitely. off mm -hmm. you know um big heart and her her hard work is an effort from a standpoint now, man. Like, you know, her health ain't, ain't the best, mm -hmm. but you will never know it. My mom will go get her. She don't mm -hmm. rely on nobody, mm -hmm. you know, and she she the rock of our family. Everybody goes to my mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, <clears throat> I appreciate that. So I definitely pick up the work ethic from her and, you know, definitely the big heart as well. So I definitely want to show appreciation to our to my mother and and, and y'all moms too because it was like my mom as well so and that's one thing that's the unique thing about growing up in the trenches man like our moms was like each other's mom for sure you know what sure. i'm saying it was love when i was at mm -hmm. at e house it was love when i was with rakina mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Me too. Rakeena, and, shout out Rakina Emerson. Exactly, man. And so Mother's Day is special for a variety of reasons, man. But we just want to definitely let our moms know before that give them their flowers. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely give her flowers, but you know, shout out to our wives. I think yeah. it's the same for sure. Approach, Absolutely. You know, talk about Queen. Yeah. You know, I think uh speaking of our wives, man, like like to CB said, we ain't we ain't we ain't forget about y'all. No, we're not leaving y'all you know out. What I'm saying because <laughs> you be sleeping now. Right. <laughs> Right, Cassie right. be sleeping in the closet. <laughs> exactly. No, but without you guys, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? The time it even take to even do these little podcasts every week. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And the sacrifice y'all make, whether it's cooking, watching the kids, taking care of the house, just holding things down so we can mm-hmm. we can be men and we can do us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so we salute. I think my wife, one of her things that I love is she she a for real ride or die. You know what I'm saying? It's like just like my right hand, mm-hmm. real supportive. You know what I'm saying? And so it she makes it easy for me to go out and make the things happen that I make happen. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you I got her hundred percent not only trust, but I got a hundred percent support. And so that helps when you gotta move and groove the way that I do, when you there shake you and bake the way that I do. And so mm-hmm. I just want to salute wifey for that, man. And uh, I'm thinking about you, E. What ways have you? Yeah, I'm on the same tip, man. I want to shout out my wife, Miss M. You know what I'm saying? For all that she does for our family. A lot of these same attributes that we talked about with our moms. And you know what I'm saying? That my, it's a, my wife kind of embodies a lot of that stuff. Hard working and nurturing and also being firm and directive. You know what I'm saying? With what she's saying. So, <clears throat> but she is the rock of our family. Like you saying, CB, everybody goes to... My, you know what I mean? Everybody, we all do. Me, Lil E, Gus Z, everybody come to her for either guidance or how you make this, how you make that. Where'd you get this from? You know what I'm saying? So for me, for sure, she team administration. Anything with paperwork, <laughs> I got to have her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to nobody else. Yeah. So just shout out for all of those things and even more that I'm not even naming. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. And, and for me, man, my wife right now is just like what I see. It's just she works so hard and she's a rock of our family inside the home. Mm-hmm. My mom is a rock of the outside piece, her her brothers and my grandma and different things in that nature. Everybody go to my wife for everything mm-hmm. because she take care of the small younger siblings and she going to make sure you got to keep her from waking up in the morning, getting the kids ready for school, fixing them breakfast. Mm-hmm. It's a full time job. Yeah. It's everything, paying bills, like you said, paperwork. And then she got the teenagers asking her, pulling her from stuff, do <laughs> paperwork stuff, do this. And then me too, mm-hmm. doing laundry. And, you know, I might ask her for a few things here and there. So definitely hard working, consistent, very consistent each and every day. Her mm-hmm. routine is the same. You know what I mean? From all those things I just mentioned. I just uh, mentioned. And sometimes, you know, we can. I won't say we take it for granted, but sometimes you know you used to it. This mm-hmm. is who she is, and uh, and not recognize that. But I, I definitely appreciate her because I couldn't do the stuff she do. <laughs> like today, you know, what I mean, she was working in the yard today, and she was putting mulching at the house from nine to twelve thirty. You know, what I mean, her solo. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean, she was exhausted. And then today, you know, I'm here. And she got my little man, you know, at the T-ball. She taking care of all that stuff, you know what I mean, from dinner and when I get home, shower. So she doing it really by herself. And that's what our Mondays look like. So definitely want to shout out to the wife, you know what I mean? I-